Hi, I'm Ev Hales and this is my sixth watercolour demonstration, Boats in the Bay. I'm using a coloured paper to set the mood. I'm grouping boats for interesting shapes. The land mass will contain the water and my expressive brush marks add interest. It's a blue Bockingford paper that I'm using a cold press surface and the paper is dry for the sky and the water which is painted all in one go. I then put a distant hill in that defines the top edge of my distant mass of boats. I use horizontal marks to indicate the hulls and then I will fill in the spaces between this to create a group of boats in the middle distance. The horizontal marks are important for the different levels on the water surface and there is the mass of boats. I'm lifting off a bit of colour, adding a few dots and dashes for interest and emphasising the water line. Now for the large mass of foliage which is a really deep value and you'll notice I'm moving the brush around to create different edges for this foliage mass. I use a variety of colours in this strong intense application of paint, leaving some white spaces to indicate buildings and again the edge for the boats. The horizontal marks on the wet mud are important as they define the edge of the water and they also work around the boat themselves. This sh shape of the water can change constantly as the tide recedes. This wash is quite creamy in consistency. There's plenty of pigment and a variety of pigment in order to create interest in what could be a very dead flat wash. A few energy marks in the foreground helps. A few bottoms on the boats in the middle distance and a few masts to add interest. These masts are lifted off with clean water and the colour pushed up into the surface of the sky. A few dark edges, dark masts to add interest and that group of boats is almost finished. Then I'm using expressive marks for the boats in the middle distance. I'm not filling it all in, I'm using a variety of marks to make these boats part of the scene, not the dominating feature. Notice how the brush changes, how the edges are created and how the details imply a lot more than they actually show. Reinforcing the waterline and dampening underneath to give a bit of a reflection and I almost have a really still sense to the water surface. Reflecting some of those marks just adds interest. Now for the main boats. Again, I'm not overpainting these. They are just part of the scene and the brush marks are quite definitive and expressive. Change of brush allows different kinds of marks and I'm just working through this series of boats in the foreground. I could add as many as I want here. Peoples this surface of damp mud and there'll be a number of boats in an area like this as the tide recedes. A few verticals just add to the interest and balance the composition. And we're almost done. There it is, boats in the bay. The blue paper creates the mood. The wet mud contains and shapes the water surface. The masses in the hillsides create the top edge of the massed group of boats in the middle distance and we have a lovely tranquil setting to this scene. If you want to know more about painting boats, my fifth ebook has just been published and you can find it in your ebook store now.